National Assembly's intercessions debates ahead of the upcoming ordinary session. The intercessions, which open on Monday, wrap up on Wednesday, the 17th of June, with discussion on the draft National Socio-Economic Development Plan for the next financial year, 2015-2016. National Assembly Vice President Sumpan Pengkami chaired Wednesday's discussion. Economic issues, especially investment, government budget allocation and debt payments to development partners were the hot topics at the National Assembly's or NA intercession ahead of the upcoming ordinary session. Introducing the draft plan, Minister of Planning and Investment Somdi Duangdi briefed the audience on the overall development situation in the first half of the 2014-2015 fiscal year. According to the draft report, which is based on initial data, economic growth is expected to be 7.5% in this year and GDP per capita 14.9 million keep. But the minister said he had observed a disparity between the growth rate and actual development. Concerning commercial production, he said that while agriculture, animal husbandry, and other sectors had strengthened commercial activities, they were also not necessarily sustainable because there was a lack of serious promotion, as well as a lack of secure markets and price controls. Minister of Planning and Investment Sum Di Dung Di also commented on public debt saying there was no indication it was going to decrease because financial discipline remained weak or was disrespected and unapproved development projects were still going ahead. According to the draft plan, some 3,500 billion kib or 29.8% of GDP is required to finance expenditure in 2015-2016 in order to achieve a growth rate of 7.5%. The government hopes to mobilize 5,600 billion kib through official development assistance, more than 18,000 billion kib from private, domestic and foreign investments and 6,700 billion ki from bank loans. Based on initial data, the Minister of Planning and Investment said there would be 7,564 projects costing 17,500 billion ki for implementation in 2015-2016. Of this number, 2,600 projects have already been started while the remainder, which are new, will require 2,800 billion ki to carry out. National Assembly members expressed concern over the public debt, noting that the government planned to allocate only 700 billion kib for debt payments this coming year. Although the National Assembly has given permission for provincial authorities to use 35% of their allocated budget for debt payments, they have in fact only used 12% for this purpose. I hope that I'll be able to 